Hello, my name is Caleb Seifer, and I'm a professor here at the University of Michigan-Dearborn. I'm in the Department of Behavioral Sciences, and I am a clinical psychologist. I work both as a professor and as a psychotherapist out in the community. And I'm here talking to you today to give you a brief introduction of clinical psychology. Let's learn what it is, what types of things you'll learn in clinical psychology classes, and what clinical psychologists do for a career. Clinical psychology is the subfield of psychology concerned with understanding mental health and well-being. Clinical psychologists work and do research in areas related to mental health, and they work with individuals and with groups as well as communities to identify pathways to improve human well-being. Of the various subspecialties within the field of psychology, the largest number of psychologists are clinical psychologists. Many of these individuals work as therapists in the community, in hospitals, in clinics all around the nation. Others like myself are also researchers and academics working in university settings or hospital settings. In terms of potential careers that you can have in clinical psychologists, there's a variety of pathways to take. Four of the most common are academia and research psychologists. These are clinical psychologists who work at a university, they tend to teach courses, and they conduct research on topics of interest to clinical psychologists. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Others are applied clinical psychologists. For example, psychotherapists working in the community that use resources to identify and diagnose mental health conditions and to provide treatment and therapy for individuals who need them. Some clinical psychologists go on to work with groups or couples or families. Some specialize in working with children. There's also a separate set of clinical psychologists that work in assessment. These include things like neuropsychologists, which work with people who have had uh, damage to their brain or who are having learning difficulties or who have experienced concussions. <clears throat> school psychologists, who tend to work in the public school systems and identify children at risk for not benefiting from the traditional curriculum and developing interventions to help them benefit and then in private practice in clinic settings where these psychologists meet with individuals, do an assessment with them, and help them identify <clears throat> types of treatments that may be of benefit to them. A closely related area of study specific within clinical psychology is psychopathology. Psychopathology refers to the study of mental disorders with regard to their etiology, Etiology is a fancy word that simply means what led to the development of this condition. The classification of mental distress, studying how frequent disorders emerge within various cultures, and identifying treatments that are effective in helping individuals with disorders. There are multiple systems used to classify mental disorders. In the United States, the most common systems are the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, better known as the DSM-5. Increasingly, <clears throat> clinicians are also using the ICD-9, which is the International Classification of Diseases system used in all of medicine and used in mental health. But these are not the only two systems. There's also the Psychodynamic Diagnostic Manual, second edition, which is also out. All of these systems have been researched and developed in an effort to characterize various forms of psychopathology. In terms of what clinical psychologists actually do when they are working with individuals, you can break it down into a few basic steps. The first is that they will conduct an evaluation. Whether you're working with couples or families or individuals, you'll need to use systematic strategies for evaluating these uh, clients and or a group of people in order to determine what <clears throat> their diagnosis is. If you take courses in clinical psychology, one of the things that you will learn are methods for categorizing problems and actually assigning diagnoses. Clinical psychologists conduct evaluations precisely so they can assign a diagnosis. In some cases, treatment will be warned and clinical psychologists are responsible for using science-based evidence to plan and carry out treatments. And then finally, clinical psychologists must monitor the progress of their interventions to make sure that people are benefiting. Often, clinical psychologists are trained in psychotherapy. 
There are many different forms of psychotherapy, but what ties all psychotherapy together is that it's a collaborative relationship in which a range of techniques are used to recognize patterns, change reactions, alter behaviors, develop insights, and promote personal growth. Many clinical psychologists are also researchers. Some of them work in hospitals, some work for the government, some work in universities. The type of questions that clinical psychologists try to answer through research is what leads to the development of various mental conditions. They look at etiology factors and risk factors. So what things may occur to an individual? What are the various genes? What biological mechanisms are there? What social realities may play a role in the development of various conditions? Clinical psychologists also research protective factors. What qualities, characteristics, biological features, uh, social relationships prevent people from developing disorders. Clinical psychologists study diagnostic utility. This refers to the usefulness of a diagnostic system to assess and plan treatments. So these researchers look at how effective do these systems allow us to categorize people and then link them to treatments that work. Clinical psychologists frequently study efficacy. So what treatments are most effective for which issues? And they also study treatment process, which features of treatment are specifically linked with outcomes. In other words, what was the active ingredient in the treatment that actually led it to be helpful or that resulted in it being less than helpful? If you are interested in these type of topics, there's a number of classes that you can take here at UM Dearborn. Psych 240 is Intro to Mental Health and Adjustment, which will teach you a lot about various forms of psychopathology. Personality development and psychopathology will go into more detail on how we diagnose and treat conditions. We also have a course on child psychopathology that looks specifically at uh, the types of disorders that typically occur in childhood or during development. Psych 450 focuses on personality theory. How does our personality relate to risk and or help us avoid various forms of mental distress? Health psychology looks at the role of clinical psychologists in the healthcare setting. And finally, the personality assessment lab can introduce you to various forms of clinical research that are, that are done and provide you some opportunity to learn uh, techniques used to study things clinical psychologists are concerned with. The university has five faculty which teach courses in clinical psychology. These include myself, Dr. Michelle Leonard, Dr. Nancy Robel, Dr. David Chakoff, and Dr. Roger Loeb. If you have any additional questions or you want to learn more, the best avenue is to take a course with one of us, or you can reach out to us by email and we'll answer any questions that you have. That's my presentation on an introduction to clinical psychology. I hope you've learned something. Take care.